Welcome all you Libras to your monthly reading for the month of August. And we've been looking into chakras each of the months and we started all the way back in January. And so last month we reached the seventh chakra, which is the crown chakra. Those are the normal, you know, well-known chakras, but we're going to be heading off and looking into the um, abnormal chakras that are not normally talked about a whole lot. And for this month, we're going to be looking at the earth star chakra. And that is the chakra that's located six inches below our feet. And it has this aligning energy with it that puts us in connection with the heart of the earth. It anchors our light and our, our soul deeply into the earth. And so that beautiful divine feminine energy allows us to feel supported and grounded and just held on our journey. So for this month, we're going to be just asking Creator and Spirit, how or where can you use support groundedness and where can you be held in your life and for those of you that are new to my channel what I do each month is I take a tarot deck and I split out the major arcana from the four suits of the minor arcana and the major arcana represents their overall general energies for the month and I'll talk about the minor arcana when I get there for this month I am using the tarot of the magical forest uh, for the main deck and I'm also using these ancestral path tarot and any of the cards I use in a reading I do list in the description box below. So we'll look here first where or what our creator wants us to know about where in your life you can use that support, that groundedness and to be held. So for our Libras, actually they want that one right there. Okay. And then we're also going to shuffle this one while we're at it. energies going in these cards and one more time all right so what else for our Libras what else would you like them to know okay they do actually they want to give you two so we will give that to you make some space here and we will start off with this one here and you do have the chariot. So the chariot is this amazing power of choice energy. You know, every moment we have a choice either between unconditional love or the fear of losing conditional love, that higher spiritual energy or the fear-based conditional love that we experience in the human world. And any every moment we have a choice to uh, emotionally, like what emotional choice do we want to make? What emotion do we want to feel through a situation? And then we also have the choice of what story or interpretation we're going to put around what is happening to us. And I know sometimes it feels like, well, I don't feel like I can make a choice. It's just when this thing happens, this is how I feel. When this thing happens, this is what it means. And when I first heard that, I also asked that and the spirit was very kind and patient, sat me down and said, look at like all children, uh, any human being as children, we are given popular opinions on what something is supposed to mean and how we're supposed to feel as we go through it. And because that popular opinion is reinforced over and over and over again, it becomes our habit to think that and feel that. And it happens so much, becomes so much of our habit, it becomes our reaction. And that's why it feels so fast. But if whenever we're faced with any situation, as soon as emotions come up or our mind starts to try to apply what this means, if we take a deep breath, and take a step back, we can see that we can form a new habit on how we want to feel what we want to think about something. So this is all about coming into this power of choice uh, that's coming up here for you. Let's see what else you have here. Yep, you have the nine of staves, which would be the nine of wands. We'll put that right here. And then you also have the five of cups. So these two cards, they kind of have this uh, empowering energy within the nine of wands or the nine of staves is about 
uh, going inward, finding your energy, finding your oomph in your life, because wands or staves are your, your drive, your ambition, your passion, your inspiration, your energy, even your spiritual energy. And the nines are like the hermit card in the major arcana, where it's about going inward, finding things within instead of the outside. And so you're finding here that you hold the key to your power. You hold the key to your energy. And sometimes they'll, they'll show someone like with a, you know, the nine staves are creating this barrier from you being able to go through it. But they usually have their hand on one of the big staves, which is what your ace of wands is. That's your wand, your power. You're able to move that and then step right through it. So you hold the power on what you want to do. Whatever you're focusing your energy on is what is growing, and you're finding this power within, which makes sense with this. And then you have the Five of Cups. Cups are your emotions, and they usually will have the three cups, like back here, whoops, sorry about the glare there. Three cups back here are spilt. Those are the emotions that you experience uh, in the outside world. So when I say there's two, um, you know, two things you can choose, that's what the two of cups represents is, uh, you know, that you can experience all that disappointment, all that spilt milk, all the spilt wine and those cups when we're looking outside of ourselves for our wholeness and our completeness because those three cups represent three different areas of our lives like relationships, uh, situations like jobs, education, um, you know, social status, just circumstances you can get in. And the other cup is like things, our bodies, our possessions, our bank accounts. Well, they all are disappointing uh, emotionally because people change or pass away. So relationships are disappointing and unstable. Situations never stay the same, right? And things break down, deteriorate, are stolen or burned down. So those all disappoint and are unstable. And that's why they're mourning those. And it's okay. We come here to experience that. But, and I like how the, the light here is kind of over top of that, but it's a uh, there's a brighter side to it is what I kind of feel when I'm looking at it in the camera here because those two cups that you have to choose from shows this power of choice. You know, we come here to experience that disappointment and all those, you know, uncomfortable emotions of fear. But if that's all you knew that you could choose, wow, how frustrating and disappointing that would be. But knowing and discovering that you have this other unconditional love that is so juicy, it's, it's sweet, it's nectar, right? Uh, compared to the sour, bitter waters of, of that, you know, when you realize that you can, you have another choice, this doesn't become so desperate feeling. And you kind of get bored of tasting the sweet and everything all the time. And you're like, I'm ready for something sour and bitter today. And you're like, oh my gosh, you know, that was okay. I had some lemonade, uh, but now I'm ready, you know, to go back to, you know, a nice uh, white mocha latte or something that's sweet tasting, right? So it's about the this choice that's coming in here um, is pretty clear. We're also going to get more clarity in all this. And when we move into the minor arcana, the four suits of the minor arcana represent four different areas of our lives. The first one we're going to look at is the fire element, which is the wands suit. And that, like I mentioned, does represent our passion, our drive, uh, you know, that energy side, our spiritual energy. So this will be what the creator wants you to know about your spiritual adventure or your energetic adventure during the month of August. So for our Libras, what would you like them to know about their energetic adventure? Okay, you do get two. And yeah, I mean, you understand the balancing Libras. You're all about the two sides of the scale, right? <laughs> yeah. And then you have the seven of wands. So this represents the energy of like defensiveness in a way where, you know, you're on the top of a hill, the other people are down here and they are wanting you to do things the way they want you to do it. They don't want you to be up there in this new way of thinking, you know, what? You're choosing unconditional love and happiness and joy and all that other stuff? No, no. Come back down here and be miserable with the rest of us. Misery loves company, right? So there's this 
feeling like that people are attacking you in a way with this new stage that you're going to but you don't have to defend it you can just simply you have the higher ground you can just stand there and they have the hard time trying to bring you down um, and then you don't have to try to bring them up either you can just be you you know you have the seven here and you have the seven here and then you have the nine of wands <laughs> again so this law is talking about you hold the ace of wands see normally it would have been blocking here but now you have the way to go through there so that is spirit confirming the message that i uh, gave you before <laughs> so we'll just put that right there we're also going to pull from this starseed oracle Let's see what else they want you to know about your energetic adventure <laughs> and one more time So what else for our Libras, please? Okay, I do want that one right there. And you have big picture thinking. And that says it's the Pleiades energy, visionary, inspired ideas. And, um, and I love that, that it's almost like you can do it both ways. It's like two sides, again, two choices that you can make here. And let's see what energy comes with this for you. So the Pleiadians are our cosmic cousins. They're here to remind us that it's never too late to learn new things and change your future. You're being called to be a visionary for the planet to take a breath, shake off what you've been taught about the world, and hold a new vision for humanity. So this power of choice, I was talking about making new habits, right? Making, choosing a new habit, creating a new habit on how you're thinking and feeling. You're likely a natural big picture thinker here to generate ideas for the future, here to birth a new age and dream a new world into being. The future will be woven by dream makers like you, by those with enough courage to question the way things have been and envision new possibilities for the planet. The world needs more artists, dreamers, inventors, and visionary thinkers. Perhaps you've had an idea recently that you're being called to usher in. If so, this card is your confirmation that it is divinely guided. And the Pleiadians support us in this important stage in Earth's development. They want us to know that the decisions we make today, the choices we make, will affect the well-being of our planet and all its species. They're calling on you to be a leader of the future, to hold a clear vision of what's possible, to trust that vision and follow it through with daily action to dream a new world into being, to hold your mind open and try not to worry about what others think, right? Don't worry about what others think. For it takes great courage to pave a new path, to trust a vision before it's a reality. Beautiful, I love that, just goes with everything we've been talking about. And they have a little inquiry question here. Actually, this one has two. It says, how are you being called to step up and lead? What new ideas or creations are you being called to pursue? So I love that. The power of choice coming in. Letting go of the old restrictions. Not worrying about what people are going to think. Removing that barriers that have been there before and stepping through there. And then next we're going to look here. Now... This is, of course, the wands is your energy, and then we're going to talk about your mind and your emotions. But the next one we're going into is the pentacles, which is the only suit that's about the outside world. It's all the other people on stage with you. It's your props, you know, your body, your possessions, all that stuff in the outside world. And this is just going to be what the creator wants you to know about your physical adventure during the month of August. So for our Libras, what do you want them to know about their physical adventure? Okay. 
and you've got the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> that is brilliant and beautiful because the Queen of Pentacles is Mother Nature, Mother Nurture. Um, it is about abundance. It's about bringing things into fruition and birthing things out into the physical world. So as this talked about, these choices that you make roll out into that physical world um, and you have the ability and the power to do that. She also, in addition to all the queens carrying their own element, like this is the earth element, they also all carry water, which is, of course, emotions, but it is also about connecting to your higher self, connecting to the spiritual realm, to the unconscious, the subconscious. So there is this uh, grounding that's coming in with this and connecting to that higher places. But this is definitely a very successful card, an abundance card. And it's kind of like this, almost like a little promise. If you do this, uh, take these bold choices and take this power into your hands, there's really, uh, you get this abundant flowing feeling coming out um, into your life as well. Uh, we're also going to pull a card here from the Spirit of the Animals Oracle. Let's see what else they want you to know about your physical adventure during August. All right, so for our Libras, what else would you like them to know about their physical adventure, please? Actually, they do want to this one right there. And you've got the Heron Patience. Beautiful birds. And that says, create a place in nature's stillness and be renewed. Take time alone to find balance. Step confidently towards your purpose. Patience will bring you rewards. Yeah, so rewards coming, the nines turning inward to find, you know, that power within you. And I'm also stepping forward and allowing those things to bring these things into fruition. And there's actually more here as well. So let's see what else the heron has to say for you. <laughs> herons live in two worlds at the same time right two choices <laughs> their feet are planted in the watery world of intuition and their head is in the sky of the mind they stand for long hours staring into the water and their own reflection introspection helps the heron uh, people know themselves and understand others they need to be careful to not let self-absorption turn into self-criticism. The heron is usually solitary and loves the peace and quiet isolation. They can be very happy alone. Their shyness is not weakness, but self-preservation. <laughs> if you're a heron person, you are intuitive, thoughtful, graceful, and authentic. You are a natural philosopher and ponder the deeper meanings of existence. You are aware and watchful, and these traits keep you safe. Focusing on your goals assures that all your needs will be met. Heron people know how to wait for opportunities to arrive, and their patience is a virtue. And those that have the heron as a totem do have an elegant manner that is their natural way of being. And you know how to look within to find answers that can lead them to their dreams. So if the heron glides into your world, take some quiet time and self-reflection and ask them to help you know yourself, your strengths, and the path to your purpose. So definitely... If you don't know what choice to make um, as well in your life, especially with this, uh, the water element energy we talked about, and they're reinforcing it here too, and with it being kind of feathered beings, 
don't be afraid to ask spirit to ask your support team on the other side for support as well because you've got your guardian angel your angels your spirit guides your loved ones who are back on the other side your ancestors creator spirit a whole slew of beings of unconditional love and light that will give you guidance and show you answers so if you don't know what answer um you know like what decision to make it means you don't have all the information yet and so ask them for information to help you you make your decision and then you'll know it when you know it right uh, these also come with some questions or statements so whatever these resonate for you for this month number one is don't let introspection turn into self-criticism so that's re-emphasized i know Libras, air elements. I have air in my chart. Uh, we can get into our heads and it can turn into that critic. <laughs> Number two, don't let your frustration with others' inadequacies swamp your joy of living. Mm -hmm. Number three, have you forgotten your need for solitude and quiet? So definitely taking some time to grasp this power for yourself uh, will be helpful. And number four, take some time alone to find balance, Libras. It's what you do best. You are the masters of balance. So you can show us how it's done. And then we're going to move into the air element, which is all about the mind. So it's your thoughts, your beliefs, your mindsets, your attitudes, your expectations. So we'll just ask the creator, and this is your element, of course, Libra, what uh, mental adventure what it will look like for the month of August or what they want you to know about your mental adventure. So for our Libras, what would you like them to know? About their mental adventure. Okay, that one right there. And you've got the Queen of Swords. So, yeah, the balancing again of the air element and the water element. Um, like this one talked about even <laughs> because the queen of course she wields the ace of swords which allows you to connect to the higher truths the capital t truths of the higher realm those that are rooted in unconditional love and cut away the thoughts and the beliefs those old habits the old ways we've been were taught um, to look at things um, but also, like we talked about, in addition to air, she also, all the queens carry water. So you have that water element that comes in here, that intuitiveness, this balancing out of the heart and mind. It also can mean like messages and communication coming in for you uh, as well um, with all that. We'll get more clarity uh, through these numerology guides cards to to your mental adventure. See what else they would like to add and one more time all right so what else for the mental adventure of our libras okay they do want that one there and you got the environment master number 44 beautiful heart chakra energy We'll put this right here. Let's see what else they have for you here. So this card does indicate a time to focus on environmental awareness by educating yourself about what's going on behind the scenes. Honor Mother Earth as a living, breathing entity and recognize that we are privileged to be here as her guests. And I love that with this being focusing on the Earth star chakra, which is all about your connection to the Earth as well. So this groundedness that's coming in. By drawing this card, you're also being encouraged to dig deep and look beyond the surface to question whether your political and personal decisions are in the best interest of planet Earth or for your environment. A great place to start is by watching a documentary called Thrive by visiting www.thrivemovement.com. So if this, of course, has environmental going green, you know, that type of energy around it. But I really feel this also has to do with about your environment, right? So this also encourages you to recycle and to use environmentally friendly products where you can. 
Perhaps you could explore organic foods or try growing your own fruits and vegetables. The more aware and self-sufficient you become, the more control you have over your health and what you put into your body. By doing your part to raise public awareness, as you inspire others to do the same. Now, however, if you know this is a general reading, so if that resonates with you, uh, you know that um, you know very direct messages. I feel there's also a you know a spiritual way of looking at that, right? recycling your old ways of thinking you controlling what you're bringing into your your spiritual like your your being your body you know your spiritual body your mental body your emotional body by the emotional and mental decisions that you make these choices that you make and i love that because it says the more aware and self-sufficient you become the more control you have over your health and your body right and then it says educate your children family members your friends when you realize that we're all in this together we can make a significant change by recognizing and appreciation your connection to nature the animal kingdom and mother earth you align yourself with source and the essence of your soul so there is this little nudge here too that as you learn this power of choice, spread the word. It's a very powerful, powerful uh, superpower that we, you know, we all have. And then we move into the final suit, which is the water element, which is cup suit. And this is your emotions, like we talked about. And so this is just going to be what the creator wants you to know about your emotional adventure during this month. So for our Libras, okay, I do want to that one and that one. Okay, we will do this one first. So you here, you have the seven of chalices, seven of cups. So you have the seven, seven, and seven, and this is about choice. You know, this we came here to experience. Uh, like I talked in the beginning, we we came here to experience these darker emotions of fear that are rooted in fear and you can maybe ask why on god's green earth would we want to do that and it's because you know we are powerful beings that have been around you know existing for who knows how long eternity right and so we as these powerful spiritual beings over time of always being around the light you know just being around bright light all the time being in this giant bubble of unconditional love and peace and joy and laughter after a while we maybe get a little bored maybe we get a little you know curious and we want to explore more about who we are and so we have all these other types of experiments that we've done trying to understand who we are and what a beautiful ingenious way to discover who we are by experiencing who we're not and so we come here to experience the contrast of the opposites right and so you have then this doesn't become like a like we're talking about before you don't feel trapped if all you could think if all you uh, believed was i can only choose emotions of fear and all that stuff that's attached to it ugh, after a while you get bored of that eating the same cereal every day right so now that you are aware that you can choose so many different emotions and that you get to choose it instead of what people have told you that you have this has to mean this when this happens you have to feel this way this is the card basically telling you no you don't <laughs> you can choose whatever you want look at that nine seven uh seven nine seven nine again nine of cups emotional fulfillment finding it from within again so you have this recurring message here about definitely turning inward to find this beautiful energy within yourself this power that you have and this emotional fulfillment that's available by connecting deeply within yourself we're also going to pull from the High Vibe Oracle deck here. And since this is the last Oracle uh, deck I'm going to pull from, this is going to be a wild card. It can be whatever else the Creator wants you to know for the month of August.
All right, so for our Libras, what's your final oracle message for them for this August reading, please? Okay, okay, and they said, yes, you do get two. See your first one? <laughs> Yay. Love it. Laughter. Under your emotions. Laughter instantly shifts a situation or environment into a higher vibration. Hang out with kids, watch a comedy, or just start laughing. If nothing else, start with a smile. I love that emotional choice coming in because I, I'll tell people, you know, have you laughed today? When you believe you're not supposed to laugh during a funeral or laugh when something that is supposed to be, like we talked about, supposed to be bad, supposed to be fear-based and, and dark, when you laugh instead, it changes the energy instantly. And I love that. And you have that power to choose to do that. And then you have animals. And that says animals are always at a high vibration. They are not concerned with life's details. So hold your cat or your dog. Talk to your bird or your guinea pig. Learn from them. If you don't have a pet, then borrow a neighbor's. <laughs> yeah, spending uh, time with animals. They don't have the power of choice like we do. And I love how they brought this to kind of uh, bring that to our you know, into our, uh, into the reading here, because they can only choose to act out of fight or flight in their animalistic uh, reactions. You know, they are, when they're uh, not in fear, they're loving and, you know, are calm. And when they're in fear, they're in attack mode <laughs> or runaway mode, right? And so, uh, or like deers and headlights, the freezing. So, you know, it's, they only can do that but we have a choice to uh, choose from two different total uh, realms, right? So I love that. Then your final messages here are gonna be from the Whispering Woods deck here. This is just the final messages that Crater and Spirit have for all you Libras for the month of August. So what's your final messages? Okay, anything else? Okay. That one, any others, last pass. Okay. All right. So you get five. We are going to do these first since they made themselves known. So you've got uncertainty. And that is the shades of gray within the fog will eventually lift. And I like that. That's kind of like the central point. You kind of feel like confused about life, right? And we do feel like we're in a fog when we're in fear, but we also tend to complicate life. And, uh, you know, I would say keep it simple. Every moment is a, a choice between unconditional love or the fear of losing conditional love. We think there's like all these choices to make and like, nope, there's just two. One is either going to be of unconditional love and the other choice is of fear. What do you want to, what are you going to do? And that's what happens there. <laughs> then you have time. And that says embrace in the dewdrops of life before they disappear with the morning sun. So take action. Definitely take action on doing this uh, on the choices. I feel like there's this, you know, with this energy, with this uh, nine of wands, it's about what are you waiting for to take your power back? What are you waiting for to really embrace this power of choice? You know, for a better time, when's, when's there going to be a better time, right? If we're not living our life, we're just existing. When we're in fear, we're just existing. When we're in unconditional love, we're living, right? So I really like that. They're like TikTok, <laughs> if I had a watch on. And then you have the night. And that says, find comfort in the night where the world switches off and the stars burn bright. So yeah, this again, this nine of taking time for yourself, 
getting away from it all, get into the quietness, get away from the chaos, get away from the fear. When you're in that loop of fear, sometimes it's hard to grasp your power of choice. So making it a practice to get out of fear, getting into a place of quiet where you feel safe, where you feel in control, allows that little inner child inside of you, instead of sending alarms, sending them to fight or flight continuously, it allows you to feel safe, it allows you to um, connect to that higher love there. <laughs> yeah. And you got adventure. Yes. New adventures await. Live wild and free. This does set you free, definitely. So new adventure. It does feel like a whole new adventure. I remember when I discovered what? There's another option? And then that you can choose whatever emotion you want or what story you apply to any situation. I get to laugh whatever I want. What? It is. It becomes a new adventure. It definitely brings you hope as well. And that is an idea like a single acorn can start a wondrous forest. Yes, yeah, so I, I like this too. This is kind of flowing into a different area of your life that when you realize you have that power of choice that you get to choose what anything means too. It allows you to fear less about the future. You know, a lot of times we'll only start things we think we'll be successful at instead of going, you know what? If I get to choose to laugh at it like I want or choose a different emotion about it, you know, I get to take risks <laughs> that I thought were risks before. But you get to choose what anything means. You could choose to laugh at everything going forward. They might put you in a funny farm, <laughs> you know, because they're like, they're laughing at every single thing. Um, but you are... You could choose that if you wanted, right? That'd probably be boring, be as boring as always choosing fear too, right? So you have this beautiful power that comes in knowing that whatever comes your way in the unknown future, that you get to choose what it means about you, others in the world, and you get to choose what emotion you have to go through it. So you do have freedom that comes with that. So loving this powerful message coming in here for you. If you are looking for more messages of love from above, in addition to these monthly readings, I also put out weekly energy updates for each zodiac sign and a few other types of videos throughout the month. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those and be updated immediately when they become available, if you give this video a little thumbs up and click the like button. Also click the subscribe button and that gives you access to the notification bell. And when you go in there, if you select the all option, then to be notified of any new videos that come out on this channel. Also doing those things help spread the love and it does help my channel grow in significant ways. Because when you like a video, share a video, uh, share, uh, comment on a video, um, subscribe to the channel, doing those types of things makes the YouTube algorithm so giddy excited. It wants to share the videos of this channel with other people as well. So if you feel inspired to do any of that, I am very, very grateful for it. Also, these are general readings, and if you're looking for even more specific information for your specific life, I do offer personal readings. All that information is listed in the description box below. All right, mighty Libras, as you go throughout this month, please know every second of every day of your life that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things, and of course, I love you too. Have an amazing month. We'll be talking very soon. In the meantime, you hang in there and you take care.